Well, I'll tell you what I think. I've been unemployed eight and a half years. Conservatives tell me it means I'm lazy and want free handouts. But when I was working, it was eight years straight, year round, seven days a week, 12 or more hours a day. I'm not lazy. So it's free handouts. Except I haven't received a dime of government money. I have anxiety disorder. Limits the type of work I can do. What do I need? I need full physical and mental health care at no cost. But in Michigan, due to conservative budget cuts, mental health is not available. It can be suicidal or homicidal. For some of you, conservatives winning elections is a letdown. For me, it means I may be unemployed another decade. Ah, life is good. Wow, I'd be really shocked to hear that any of those unemployed folks out there are tea partiers that have a problem with illegal immigration. Because United Farm Workers has a campaign called Take Our Jobs at takeourjobs.org where undocumented farm workers will train anyone to take over their jobs. Tea partiers, just make sure to wear a hat and bring sunscreen. It's a little warm out there. I went to my brother to ask for a loan but I was busted. I was. Millions of Americans are unemployed through no fault of their own. And the GOP? After racking up record deficits through unfunded wars, corporate largesse, and tax cuts from the most wealthy, they want to cut spending on the backs of the unemployed while short-circuiting one of the most effective types of stimulus. In a recession. Wow! Wow! <laughs> wow! Wow! All I can say is wow! So people like Sharon Engel think that people don't want to work, they want to live on subsistence level income? Really? You can make more money on unemployment than you can going down and getting one of those jobs that is an honest job, but it doesn't pay as much. So my point is, to say that people who don't have jobs don't want jobs? That's stupid. You think about the factory workers in the car industry, the construction workers. People want to work. And to think that they don't is just idiocy. We have put in so much entitlement into our government that we really have spoiled our citizenry. People like Sharon Engel are really out of touch with working class Americans. Can we take a direct flight back to reality or do we have to change planes in Denver? Have you ever been unemployed and you had somebody say this to you? Get a job. Really? Oh, thank you so much. Now I know what to do. You're so brilliant. That's like pull yourself up from the bootstraps. Oh, when I pull myself up, I levitate to the job plateau. What? You morons. Mm. If things don't go your way, just keep complaining until your dreams come true. extend the benefits, you never know if a senator is going to suddenly die and keep you from getting your benefits. It's really an up and down ride. And they're old, they die a lot. <laughs> and infirm and brain dead. Especially the Republican ones. <laughs> Remember that when you're voting in November. Woo! <laughs> Dear Senate Republicans, thank you. Seriously. If you weren't there to intervene, I would have been sucking on the government teat for the rest of my life. Not having a job? No, that's totally my choice. I... I could have a job if I wanted one. I'm sure of it. So thank you. Really. That's pretty much it.